Kane, the Shadow Reaper. Kane's not alone. The scythe he wields is possessed by a Darken named Rost. Each time Kane steps onto the rift, he has to fight Rost for control. Inevitably, one will consume the other. You choose the victor. Welcome to the Kane Champion Spotlight. Kane's passive is the Darken Scythe. At some point during each game, Kane transforms into either the Shadow Assassin or the Darken. For Kane to conquer and destroy Rost, he must become the Shadow Assassin by damaging ranged champions. Meanwhile, fighting melee champions will empower Rost, which enables him to take over Kane's body and transform into the Darken. Once either form has won, return to base to attain your final form. This process will amplify most of your active abilities as well as replace the Darken Scythe passive with an entirely new one based on the form you took. The Shadow Assassin's new passive deals significant bonus damage during the first few seconds of combat with champions, while the Darken heals for a chunk of all ability damage dealt to champions. No matter which form wins, you can simply wait a few minutes to choose the loser instead. Kane's Q is Reaping Slash. Kane dashes, then swings his scythe in a circle. Both the dash and slash damage all enemies they hit. This ability deals bonus damage to monsters. If Rost wins the struggle, Reaping Slash deals bonus percent health damage against all enemies except minions. Kane's W is Blade's Reach. Kane rears back and slashes in a line, damaging and slowing all struck enemies. If Kane becomes the Shadow Assassin, the range is increased and a living shadow will strike for him, allowing Kane to move freely after casting. If the Darken is in control, Blade's Reach will knock up its foes. Kane's E is Shadow Step, which grants a burst of movement speed and the ability to walk through any terrain for a few moments. When he first enters terrain, he'll receive a heal and significantly extend the duration of Shadow Step. However, the extended duration won't be granted if Kane's in combat with enemy champions. As a Shadow Assassin, Kane gains additional movement speed and immunity to slows when activating Shadow Step. I am everywhere. Nearby enemy champions will be alerted of Kane's presence while he's inside the terrain. Because the base duration of Shadow Step is rather short, make sure you're close enough to a wall to actually phase through and extend the duration. When you plan out your ganks as Kane, think about how you can use Shadow Step to invent creative jungle and ganking routes. You have completely unique pathing as Kane, and learning that is extremely important. Even the rift itself isn't big enough to hold back the Shadow Reaper. Kane's ultimate is Umbral Trespass. When activated, Kane leaps inside an enemy champion he's recently damaged. While Kane's ghost riding his whip, he's untargetable and has the option to jump out early. Upon exiting his host, he deals massive damage to the target. In Shadow Assassin form, the cast range is increased and it refreshes the bonus damage from his passive. As a Darken, Umbral Trespass's base damage is replaced with max health damage and heals Kane based on his target's max health as well. Basically, use it to chomp on tanks. When you trespass into an enemy, it's like they're a train and you're the world's scariest freight hopper. You go wherever they go, and then you kill the train. Even Zed would be impressed. Regardless of which form you gain access to first, think about which of Kane's transformations will benefit your team the most in the mid to late game. Does the enemy team have a lot of squishy carries you can burst? If so, go Assassin. Or if they have big bruisers and your team is lacking crowd control, consider choosing the Darken's Slayer. Take a look at this. As Kane, you're the only champ that can fully change roles in the middle of a game. Choose wisely. The Shadow Assassin excels at flanking and picking off high priority targets when they least expect it. Use Blade's Reach to engage, then dive into the Reaping Slash and dodge their big abilities with your ultimate. There was a time to run, 
but you missed it. The Darken is, just like in his lore, real strong against assassins. Between his built-in sustain and crowd control abilities, the demonic force is extremely hard to kill. When the situation gets tight, you can heal up with a carefully timed trespass, then knock up your pursuers and slip away into a wall. Armed and ready. Thanks for tuning in to the Kane Champion Spotlight. Click the links below or I'll eat your soul.